Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm doing another what I eat in a day. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional, not a nutritionist, and these are just meals that make me feel good, and I think they're pretty easy to make as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'm just getting ready to make my breakfast, but I actually also have a sponsor for this video, and that sponsor is Audible, which is amazing. I love listening to audiobooks, not just because they relax me, but because I also feel I can learn something and actually better myself. And Audible just has an unmatched solution Collection of audiobooks and as a member you get a free audiobook each month plus two audible originals and these originals are exclusive audiobooks the great thing with audible is also that even if you cancel your membership the audiobooks are yours to keep they're not gonna go anywhere and you can get your first audiobook for free plus two audible originals when you try audible for 30 days just visit audible.com slash maximilian again it's just audible.com slash maximilian or you can also text maximilian to 500 500 once again it's just texting maximilian my name to 500 500 an audiobook that i would really recommend to you guys is the subtle art of not giving a fuck i find this one really entertaining and very educating as well and it just has quite an interesting take on how to approach life and yeah i would really recommend that one to you guys but let's get into the food so for breakfast I've been loving just a really simple green smoothie and I use a Vitamix but you can use any blender that you have. So I'm starting with some frozen banana, just popping in a couple of pieces, then some spinach and I'd say just a good two handfuls, although I am making this for two people, just keep that in mind. And then I bought this frozen mango and this one I actually had to cut so I just did that quickly, super easy and pop that in the blender as well. And then I'm adding some vanilla protein. You can also add some almond or peanut butter, but I didn't really feel like it. So I'm just putting in some protein and then almond milk. And now that's all ready to be blended. And this is gonna turn into a really nice green color. I find it so satisfying to watch this get blended up. And that's basically it. I'm just pouring it into a glass and then I bought these metal straws that I love because obviously they're nice and sustainable but it also feels really nice to drink out of them and here I'm just uh, posing for a thumbnail which is a bit cringy but let's move on to the lunch. So for lunch I've been loving making avocado on toast which is a little bit basic but delicious and I don't actually have a toaster so I just put the bread in the oven for a little bit and I got this one, I think this is some kind of sourdough, that's usually my favorite, so I'm just popping two slices in the oven. Then I'm slicing up some tomato. And then of course the avocado, and this one was a really good one, so I'm just using half, but then I quarter it just to make it easier to get out of there and to cut, but I do use half an avocado for myself. And then to make things a bit more interesting, I love frying up some mushrooms. So I've just popped some olive oil into a pan and then I buy these pre-chopped mushrooms just to make things easy for myself. And I'm just tossing those around in the pan. Then I add a little bit of tamari just for flavor, but you can also just use regular soy sauce. And I just keep tossing them, but they really don't take very long. And now I'm also chopping up some lemon because I love adding that on top of everything. And now it's time to put on the avocado and that looks so good. I could really eat some avocado toast right now. And then I put the tomato on top some salt and pepper as well a little bit of lemon juice and then it's time to put on the mushrooms and that's basically it it's really easy and yummy and you can obviously add a whole bunch of different things to make this more interesting for yourself but that is lunch all done let's move on to dinner so for dinner i'm making potato chips vegetarian sausages and a really nice salad again really easy but so satisfying and i've actually popped on a face mask so that way i can do three things at once skincare audiobooks and cooking and the first thing i'm doing is peeling potato and i'm doing sweet potato and then just regular white potato is that what they're called i think so um i usually like mixing both and kel prefers just having the white potato so i do that and then i put a little bit of oil 
in a bowl and just toss the chips around and I don't know why I did it with like a tiny bit first but I do this with all of the chips and then I just put them onto a tray and just season that with salt, pepper and paprika and while they cook in the oven I'm gonna take off my face mask and now that I'm back I'm preparing for the salad so I love just cutting up some cucumber A little bit of tomato and then I always need to put avocado in my salad as well it just makes it so nice and creamy and then I buy this leafy mix from Woolworths and this one had a lot of spinach in it for some reason but I'm I'm not bothered lots of nutrients and then I just pop everything on top of the salad and then I like adding a little bit of this dairy-free cheese this is made from nuts and it just tastes really nice makes it creamy adds something that's a little bit interesting and then something I love doing is I put beetroot hummus on my salad. Kel doesn't like this, so he's missing out, but this tastes so good. And then I'm making the dressing with some tahini. And then I also pop some lemon juice in there, salt and pepper once again, and then some boiling water. And you kind of just keep adding more water till you have the consistency that you want. And now I'm just cutting up some bread and I'm frying that into little croutons. This is something that Kel asked me to do and it was actually a good idea because it tastes really good. And we had leftover bread that had to be used. So I'm just putting that in the pan with some olive oil, really easy. And now I'm cooking these sausages. These are from Tofurky and I'm mixing the hot dogs and the beer brats. And these are so good and they're really easy to cook. You just throw them into boiling water. And that's what I'm about to do and I'm pretty sure here it's about to cut out and I had to charge my camera but this is the finished dinner we've got the salad sausages potatoes and then I love ketchup and mustard I just find this to be a really satisfying dinner and you get something warm but then also fresh with the salad and that brings us to the end of the video so I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye